This episode was brought to you by Brilliant. Hey everyone, it's Lise from Joe Curiosity and I've got a slightly embarrassing story to tell you today. I once flew from London to Seattle on a Boeing Dreamliner. It took off at 9.50am and it was scheduled to land at 11am Pacific time, flying over the Arctic Circle. This meant that it would be an entirely daytime flight, and as I'd been unable to sleep the night preceding the flight, I fell asleep almost instantly the moment I got on the plane, and woke up to what appeared to be nighttime. I was really confused and I wondered if I was on the right flight, whether the pilot had gone rogue and was flying elsewhere, or worse, if flat earthers had somehow been right all along, meaning it was somehow nighttime in this part of the world. I remember also seeing this really bright light outside, and I felt like such brightness belonged to the sun, but perhaps it was some sort of flashlight for the plane's wings visibility. Either way, these were questions that were too hard for my sleepy head to answer, so I fell straight back to sleep. And it wasn't when I next woke up, being much closer to landing, that I realised that the night time was in fact an illusion caused by the window which could change opacity, making it seem as if it were night time outside. Honestly, this blew my mind way more than it should have. I've thought about these windows a lot. So let's find out together how this magic glass works. Normally when flying, you're probably accustomed to having a pull-down blind. And if you've ever had to do a long-haul flight in a window seat, you've probably experienced the gentle hassling for your window to be closed and opened to match the sleeping times of the new time zone. From an engineering perspective though, fitting a blind into the fuselage and replacing it when it breaks down is a little less straightforward than you would expect. So an alternative option that could efficiently block out light whilst fitting within the window itself would in fact be preferable. Asking for glass that changes colour on command honestly might sound a little bit like science fiction, but it does in fact exist. Please meet electrochromic materials. Electro from electricity and chromic from colour are basically materials that change colour and or opacity when an electrical current is run through it, making them stupendously convenient. The electric aspect means it can be controlled both by each person that's next to the window by pressing the buttons which adjust the current and therefore the opacity of the window, as well as centrally by the air hostesses. That means that everyone can sleep in peace on the flight without the aforementioned hassling to open or close their blind, whilst the light in the cabin can just be adjusted to avoid jet lag. However, the actual magic happens inside the glass. You might have encountered photochromic glass before, think of those glasses that darken to become sunglasses when sunlight hits them. Photochromic glass works because when ultraviolet light passes through a glass substrate with microcrystalline silver halides within it, they undergo a chemical reaction that turns the ionic silver, which is clear, into elemental silver, which makes the glass turn darker and block UV light. This process is reversed in the absence of ultraviolet light, allowing the lenses to become clear once again. However, this process is light and temperature dependent, which would be inconvenient if you did want to have high visibility through a plain window in plain daylight. The glass of electrochromic materials works following a very similar principle, but instead they respond to electricity currents rather than to light. The glass may appear to be a single entity, but it's actually a sandwich of several layers. The outer layer are near-transparent electrodes, whereas the filling is the actual electrochromic layer itself, which changes colour or opacity when an electric current is applied to it. They are generally a polymer film, such that when voltage is passed from the outer conductors, the ions in an electrolyte move to the electrochromic layer, causing the change in property. One of the most commonly used materials for the electrochromic panel is made of gamma butyrolactone bearing electrolyte. This material has high ionic conductivity, allowing for lithium and perchlorate ions to be easily dissociated with a low activation energy, which means less electricity is required to power it. Most importantly, it has a high transmittance of light, meaning it can reach an almost entirely transparent state, allowing for clear visibility of the exterior ranging from 70,000 lux, which would be full daylight, all the way down to only 5 lux, which is barely brighter than civil twilight. And it might just trick you into believing that you're also in the middle of the night. It's also a very safe material to work with, it has low toxicity, provided you of course don't try to eat it, which would be kind of hard given it's inside a plain window, low flammability and high stability under large variations in temperature, 
All of which I'd say are characteristics you definitely want your airplane windows to have. Of course, electrochromic devices aren't just used in the niche place that is the Boeing Streamliner's windows, a plane which, let's face it, we can currently only ride in our dreams. But in other windows, shades, dividers, mirrors, and honestly, any other surface you can think of where it might be advantageous to change shades. So if you could magically install an electrochromic surface anywhere in your life right now, where would you have it? And maybe you would consider using today's sponsor on it, which is Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving website which helps you delve into the world of math and science by doing as well as by watching. They teach you things, machine learning, mathematics, geometry. In this screen recording, I'm checking out the new neural networks module, and you can then do different exercises to test your understanding and put it into practice. So if you need to do any revision for college, or you just want to learn new skills in maths and science for the personal joy of it, as I am, feel free to head over to brilliant.org forward slash draw curiosity. The first 200 people who sign up over there will get 20% off an annual premium subscription. I think they're doing a good thing over there. It's a fantastic resource and they're supporting this channel, which honestly is incredibly appreciated, especially given the current times. So if it would be helpful to you in any way, please go ahead and grab that discount on me. And as always, thank you so much to my fantastic patrons on Patreon for supporting Draw Curiosity. And as always, thank you so much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next one.